So, I've been playing Minecraft for a couple years now, and every time I load up a new Minecraft survival world, I wonder, where am I going to build my house this time? The answer is not as simple as you might think, as Minecraft has a variety of different biome types that you can live in. Now, I don't actually remember the exact number off my head, but I will put a number up on the screen right now. This is exactly how many biomes Minecraft technically has in the game. Now, they can range from, like, water types, or ground, or grass, it honestly just depends. Now, depending on where you live, you might want to uh, have a different style of base. And in today's video, I'm going to show you five different Minecraft bases I have come up with for five different types of biomes that you might be interested in living in. Please do not judge my building on this. These took me a while to make. The, one of them kind of looks like crap, I know but I did my best, so I hope you guys enjoy the video no matter what. So let's say that the first biome that you actually come across in Minecraft is a mesa, and you haven't lived in a mesa at all, or you really want to try and challenge yourself on a build. Mesas are, in my opinion, a perfect example on how to challenge yourself for a build. There's no wood, and there's no stone, except for terracotta if you want to classify that as a stone. You can gather those resources, and you'll have to figure out how you want to make a build. Mesas are actually known for mine shafts, if you didn't know. The mine shafts in mesas are covered with gold. Mesas are known to have a plentiful amount of gold inside of them. So, what I have done is I have created this mine shaft area. This is actually the first thing I did. So, we have this little entrance right here, and it actually leads down with some spruce doors just as cosmetic, and some dark oak and some spruce stripped logs some spruce stairs and then it leads us into the mine itself i put a ton of gold in here because this is a mesa biome and honestly this build turned out a lot better than i think i thought it was going to and i'm sorry if you can hear dogs barking in the background it's my neighbor's dogs and they don't know when to shut up but for this cave area that i did i added a little river so some little waterfalls i made it look i used a lot of like stairs since we're in the 1.16 so the aquatic update adds the water physics and stuff. So I made it to look like the bridge would have been partly destroyed by over year, like overworn tear from over time. And then just some slabs and stairs with some water in it. Kind of give it that effect as if like the cave is just filled with water. And there's really nothing you're gonna be able to do about it, so. And then if we come back here, we have our just your, your, your little house area, so you got your basic furnaces, your crafting tables, your bed, your carpet, especially if you're green like me. Use campfires for like a little arch over a bridgeway, and then some stone pillars and some lanterns everywhere to kind of give it that nice lighting effect. So, as a starter base, I wouldn't consider this to be a starter base. I would consider this to be like an intermediate base that you could do. Because, I mean, if you really want to decorate this, you're going to have to go mine all this gold. So living in a mesa is definitely the best thing. And then you have to mine all that cobblestone and andesite and stone and actually just, you know, make this place look good. But let's head over to the next area, which is actually going to be a spruce forest. So the first thing that came to my mind when I was going to build this area was a spruce house, kind of like a medieval style house. But I quickly realized that I didn't want to do that and I wanted to build something better instead. So here we have the next build that you could do for a spruce forest, and that is a Hobbit-style house. This one is actually one of my favorites. It took me a little bit to come up with the design because I didn't know how I wanted to do it and wanted to execute it, but I think it looks really good. And you've got this waterfront here to where you can go boating, fishing, or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do in the ocean. I mean, that's your business, not mine, so. We have the, our, like, our little wheat patches out here and everything else. It look, I just think it looks really, really cool. And this is one of my favorite interiors that I've done for a build in a long time. Look at this. It's just amazing. We have your netherite and diamond armor here. You know, you gotta flex. You gotta flex on everybody. You got your armor here. Fed with your skull painting. Shut up! Have your enchanting area here. A little, it's a little bit of a small bedroom, but it looks good nonetheless. And then uh, coming in here, you have like storage chests around the area, potted plants, and then you have your furnace area, your barrels, your music stuff, and crafting tables, and then whatever else you really want to put over here, you can put over here. 
And then I put some little potted plants around the area and then the archways with some birch and some dark oak trap doors. And I really think that this place came together. For the floor, it's gray wool and gray concrete. It's just a mixture between the two. And I'm definitely going to recreate this type of base in some type of series that I do in the future. I'm not sure what series I would recreate this whole like build for, but I am absolutely in love with this design. It's one of my favorites that I've done for this entire video, and it's it's amazing. So that is the spruce area. It's just like a little idea. I mean, you can build like a medieval style. You can build a hobbit hole. You can build whatever you want. And it, I'm just giving you guys some ideas. So next up, we are going to head to an plains biome. So you find yourself in a normal plains biome when you start your Minecraft adventures. You usually probably gather some stone, kill some animals, and just go about your normal Minecraft business, going mining, finding a different biome to live in, etc, etc. But some people actually really do love oak biomes. Oak oh, pl plains biomes, sorry. <laughs> some people really do love these biomes, and I have built a house dedicated to Oak. If we come to this oak house, we have a nice little chimney up top with a very overgrown themed roof. I put a lot of mossy brick and then stone brick along the house. The wall pattern that I did for the house is actually a mixture of the stripped oak wood and the oak planks. And they actually do come together really, really well, especially with the regular logs. So now I have like a little mossy pond here complement the outside and then our path that we have is just a combination of stone, cobblestone, and mossy cobblestone. So and then going inside the house, we have a great little interior. We have a little fireplace here, got a couple of storage chests, your furnace, blast furnace, smokers, you know the deal. All the saplings in the game except for this one which is a fern, uh potted plants, carpet, a green bed, you know, I gotta represent the green. Uh <laughs> But all in all, I think that this base is honestly one of my favorites. You got a cute little chimney up there. You got a bunch of spruce trees around. I feel like the spruce trees match this house better than uh, the oak trees, but the biome matches this house better. So, the next place we're going to head to is a mine shaft, which is actually a ravine. So, here we go. So, what I did here is that I did a pathway leading up with a mixture of spruce and oak. And then I did a lot of these, like, torch designed with an iron trap door in the item frame with a torch on the block just to give it the kind of effect that it's actually being held in place so and then I didn't do the walls and stuff because I wanted it to look as natural as possible except for all the cobblestone that's not natural it's just an effect I wanted to add to make it look a whole lot better the first place we're gonna come over to is this little farming area and our storage system we have our storage chests in here, so a bunch of random chests in here. I'll go ahead and put those in there because I don't want them no more. And this area over here can be used for like a mine shaft. Didn't really decorate that area. And then we have our farm here, so we have your wheat, beetroots, and carrots here. You know, you gotta stay healthy while you're sitting down here in a cave with almost no sunlight. And then this got lucky. I ended up finding a zombie spawner in here and just like enclosed it in a little bit. You could put like a actual, make this like an actual XP farm, whatever you want to do. So it's a great way to earn XP not too far away from the actual base itself. And coming over here, we actually have the house itself. You have to remember that this base isn't the prettiest, so, but it is the most difficult to probably build. Because of the fact that you would have to deal with not only mobs shooting you, you would have to deal with the elevation itself. So you'd have to deal with the sides, and you'd have to deal with just, you know, falling to your death. But this, these houses in this ravine are nowhere near as good looking as everything else I've built. But that's not the, the outside doesn't matter, the inside is what matters. So we made it feel a little bit homey, we used a different colored bed, we have chests in here, crafting table, the blue orchid, all your furnaces, your needs come down here and this area leads to the enchanting room just across the ravine that could have lapis in it we have your enchanted area with your books and your purple carpet and it just looks gorgeous oh it's gorgeous 
And then what I did for like the actual part of the ravine, I added waterfalls so that to make it look like the ravine's been flooded over time. And the support pillars are made from a combination of oak, like tree logs, spruce wood, oak wood, oak trap doors, and a lot more oak and spruce. I used oak a lot to give it the effect as if it's like uh, been worn down by the sun over time. So give it the effect of it. This has been here for years and nobody has actually been down here. So the cobblestone also gives it the effect of a nice gener of a nice cave. I kind of wish Minecraft caves would generate just like this with a lot of cobblestone in it. It would not only make mining cobblestone easier, it would make cave generation look better. But I'm talking about cave generation when literally 1.17 is right around the corner. So I would definitely do be doing inspiration builds for building 1.17 caves because I have a very good idea of what I want to do. <laughs> And the final build we're going to be touring today is a tower in the mountains. So let us quickly head over there right now. Alright guys, prepare your eyes for what you're about to see. Some of you may love this, some of you may hate this. I really hope that you don't hate this though, because this took me a day and a half to build, please. But here is the tower for the final build. I would consider this to be like an expert level build for at least a survival scenario. Honestly, I am in love with this build. Like, it's got a nice gradient between stone and then andesite, and then andesite up to cobblestone, and then stone, and then yada, 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 yada. And then a nice gradient of the wood. And from down here, it looks great. From down here, the tower looks great. But if I fly up, it looks horrible. <laughs> if I fly up here, it looks like a torch. Looks like a torch. All right, so we're gonna head in the tower right quick. The gradient that I use for the bottom of it is actually a mixture of concrete, gray concrete powder, as well as acacia wood. And I never thought I would actually use acacia wood for this, but the gradient that it gives off of acacia wood and then the uh, gray concrete powder, if you're a far enough distance away, you cannot tell. It looks like a dark, the acacia wood actually looks like a deteriorated kind of dirt soil. So it looks fantastic fantastic from a far distance in my opinion it looks great it kind of makes it feel like the dirt is like a moss not a mossy but like kind of like a ashy kind of feel to it so i think it looks great and these little areas right here are actually just bits of glowstone with trap doors on them so it kind of gives it a little bit light as well as actually holding up the stairs even though minecraft physics completely defy the laws of gravity and as we head up here, you'll notice some like cracks in the bridge because this this tower is supposed to be old, uh, simulating the actual wear and tear of the uh, the wood in it as well. I did not complete this as decorating wise. So like down here, you could easily put like a smelting area, a storage system, an enchanting table. Like there and there's more. There's more to this as well. Like this is on a full pillar of stone as well. So the whole inside is actually completely um solid and make a proper way up here besides besides breaking your way into the, the building but here in the upstairs area i absolutely love this area it looks so cute you have your bed here obviously green green's best color in the world no one can say otherwise we have your green carpets here we have this carpet here as a nice little tie-dye pattern potted plants in the area some chests and a nice nice view if you have a good pc and your render distance can go to like 20 dude this is the best house for you you can even see the moon <laughs> you can even break the laws of minecraft and see the moon <laughs> the whole inside of this base actually looks great i feel like i could have done a better job on the outside but i'm very happy with how the end result ended up on the inside so the roof, I probably could have done a little bit better, adding like stairs and slabs to actually give it the effect of if it's like going inward, but I love it either way. And the whole outside of the base as well is just like one big, like not sphere, but like, I don't know what to call it. It's just like one big thing. It From a distance, it looks like a torch. It really does, it looks like a torch. But I love this build. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites that I've actually done, so. 
And that was it for the five different builds in five different Minecraft biomes. This video was kind of like an inspiration of what you can do every time you launch up a Minecraft world and you want to build something different in different types of biomes. You'll notice a theme that I did with this video is that I used a lot of spruce and I used a lot of dark oak for some builds. Mainly spruce, and that's because spruce really goes good with a lot of texture details, especially when you're doing like gradient stuff. If you notice, on almost every single build that I did, I had some type of spruce in that build because spruce honestly just goes good with every everything. Except Acacia. I don't know about Acacia. So. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this Minecraft video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to join the Amazing Creeper Clan today. Please. Please. We're so close to 200. Please. We are like 31 people from the time that I'm looking. From the time I'm, this video has been recorded. We are like 31 people away from hitting 200. And I cannot wait. I want to do a special for that to where we go play Hypixel with everybody, and I just, I can't wait, guys. I'm super happy for 200 to be here, and I'm super happy to grow in the future as well. Uh, make sure you also join the Discord down below, as it's a place that you guys can just come hang out. You can talk to me, you can talk to anybody else in the server. Just make sure you read the rules as well in the server. Please don't just, like, go off and chat. Please make sure you read the rules. Make sure to tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of every single build and if you guys are inspired, if any of these builds inspired you. Amazing, 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 amazing. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys would actually want me to build next. Do you want me to do more time-lapse builds? Do you want me to do more stuff like this to where I just build and then show you? Kind of like what Grian does. Do you want me to do medieval builds? Do you want me to do sewer builds? Do you want me to do more city builds? How, what do you want me to do? Tell me in the comments down below and I will get that done for you. But again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Wrong button! <laughs>